the same material as this book uh, without going in depth, and you can probably do without those books as well. Finally, simply because I forgot to bring in, um, even though it was on our list tonight, Professor Potter's book, and he kindly brought one in, he also volunteered some other books that he thought were interesting. Remember when Judy Lundquist spoke to the dry dredgers? So um, she has this book on tracking uh, trilobites. Uh, we have the Kentucky Geologic Survey Guide to Progression of Life. I think this is also available uh, online. Or at least big parts of it. Um, a guide for beginning fossil hunters from the Illinois State Geologic Survey. And then there was a lot of discussion uh, before the meeting when this one showed up. Uh, Cincinnati's Geologic Environment, a trip for secondary school science teachers um, by uh, Hannenberg, Riesenberg, Pahan, and Dietmeyer. Uh, if you get uh, the books, they, they can expand uh, your horizons as far as a fossil collector. Uh, it's going from just the fossils themselves to perhaps the bigger picture where the uh, book goes into uh, explaining, for instance, the, the actual living fossil or the geology of the area or how the Cincinnati fits into the Ordovician, which fits into the other uh, ge geological eras. Uh, on the other hand, you can go the other direction. You could go rifle shot. If you really want to learn how to identify a Plasprophia lanacosta, uh, you can read the literature, which shows pictures and has actual descriptions of that uh, particular fossil. Uh, as I pointed out, the author's comments about how difficult it is to tell them from some of the others uh, of Platystrophia species. And uh, you can become quite an expert if you really want to dwell on the particular fossils. It, it really becomes what do you want to do uh, with your collection? How much uh, additional knowledge do you want to gain? And uh, probably the books. Uh, we're lucky that they're available here for the Cincinnati series, and uh, most people do want to get some additional knowledge that goes beyond the elementary guide. So uh, I hope we've given you some ideas, and uh, we're going to leave the books up here for you to uh, take a look at, and uh, if you want to come through them and get an idea of what they look like. One pleasant comment is uh, some years ago, Steve Holland, I don't know if anybody remembers uh, when Steve was working here, led a uh, uh, field trip for young people uh, out, to, uh, out to the Richmond area. And, uh, and helping out on that field trip, I was watching uh, young people find their first fossil and the look of excitement in their eyes and that sort of thing. And preparing for this talk, I had an opportunity to sit down with John in his library. And he's telling me that story about finding Osgood after 20 years. I'm picturing a little <laughs> kid picking up their first trial of bike. So uh, we're going to leave you with this. Finding some of these is just as much fun as finding that crime. Thank you.